Yes, Lord. Throw your background out the door. All of that, let it go. What Tyrone did, what Smith did, throw it out the door. God's going to work on us. Hey. Hallelujah. God's going to do some things for us. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God is so awesome. God is so awesome. Forget about what you weren't and what you got on. Come on now. Don't get caught up in that stuff. That's right. Because now's the time God said he's tired of a form of godliness but denying the power thereof. We dressing up for church. We dressing up for a program. And God says time out for it. <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see it. It's time out. Because we still leaving the same way we came. We leaving bound and tied up. And God said now you got to get rid of that stuff. So you can be free for real.
one of the synagogue on the Sabbath. Today, that's our church. Yes. That's the reason why you got to come to the church to get some teaching. Yes. Yes. See, we want to run from the church and get teaching from everybody else. Yes. But you got to run to the house of God yes. where you can get some teaching. Yes. See, he was teaching in the church. Uh -huh. He was teaching in the church on the Sabbath. Uh -huh. I don't know if you know it or not, but today is the Sabbath. Amen. Oh God. Oh God. Today is the Sabbath. Oh yeah, but I see a little shit. Oh yes, Lord, yes, Lord. Woo! God is about to do something, y'all. I feel it. Oh yes, Lord. And behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bent over and could in no way raise herself up. First of all, let's look. A woman. Mm -hmm. A woman. Yes. You, me, her. Uh -huh. No color on it. Come on. Right. Amen. Come on. Not what she drove up in. Come on. Amen, Jesus. Where she lived. Hallelujah. Her education background. Mm -hmm. A woman. Right. A woman. Hallelujah. The name wasn't even important. Right. What she had wasn't even important. Yeah. Where she lived wasn't even important. A woman. A woman. Who had a spirit of infirmity for 18 years. And was bent over. And could in no way raise herself up. Let's talk about her condition. Let's talk about her condition. Curvature of the spine. Scoliosis. See, some people are born because it's passed down, and some people, it hit them later on. Right. Some may just start like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Might not cause any problems. Mm -hmm. But as it gradually goes, mm -hmm. see, you got to look at this thing in the spirit. Mm -hmm. A little sin li living a whole lump. Uh -huh. Start like that. Right. But you still can raise yourself up to get some relief. Yes. But then as it grows, you start to get bent over. Yes. And you start to get bent over. Right. And then all of a sudden, they start putting pressure on your back, mm -hmm. yes. on your spine. Because yes. sometimes it starts with a C. It can be in a C or it can be in an S. It just depends on how their condition worsens up over time. Yes. It said this woman had this condition 18 years. Yes. 18 years. Yes, Lord. So you know this gradually. Yes. When you get to a point and you study bent over, mm -hmm. and you study bent over, mm -hmm. after a while you ain't seeing nothing but the ground. Yeah. And I can't see unless I'm looking at you sideways. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, Lord. Uh -huh. So you know it had to be pain because more and more it intense, yeah. the more pain it brings on the back. Yeah. Jesus. Oh, yeah, you know what I said. To be bent over for 18 years in this condition and you walking around but you still making your way to church but you bent over you bent over you bent over but you still making your way to church but you bent over stop trying to act like you got to be perfect before you come to church you bent over if you bent over just keep coming to church if you bent over just keep coming to church she made her way to the synagogue. She kept on coming. You know she had to keep coming for those 18 years. Oh, yes, Lord. She kept on coming. But she was bent over. And the pain and the pressure on her back. But she kept on coming. She was coming to the house of God. Because she knew one day I'm going to be healed of this. She kept on coming. She kept on coming. To be stuck like that. For 18 years. Oh my God, my God. My God, my God. She could no longer raise herself up. Like some people, when they have scoliosis, see, they can raise themselves up a little bit to relieve some of the pain for a little while. But this woman was bent over. She could no longer raise herself up. Baby. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hey, you know what I said? See, some of y'all done got stuck on yourself. <laughs> Say, I can raise myself up. I can get the job I want. I can stay where I want to stay. I can marry who I want to marry. Oh, yeah. 
spiritual though. We so spiritual because we want to put on a show. We want a show. We don't really want Jesus. We don't really want Jesus. Jesus. I know that you're bent over. I already see that you're bent over. But guess what? We serve a merciful, loving God. A powerful God. That can straighten us out. At any time. On any day. On any day. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. See, women of God. We really got to get on the wall. We really got to get on the wall. We come in the wrong way. What she going to say to me? Your attitude already wrong. Who going to be there? What they going to do? I don't like the way she sound that song. Did you see how she was shouting? Did you see how she was speaking in tongues? Why did she pray for her longer? Why did she give her a hug and then give me a hug? Foolishness in the body of Christ. Foolishness. That's the reason why your neighbor can't get free. That's the reason why your neighbor is bound up. That's the reason why your neighbor is bent over. Because you with our spiritual shall restore such one. I get there. How did I get there? Because you see, too many women of God, they end up leaving God because somebody in the church hurt them. Somebody in the church said something to them that they shouldn't have said, or somebody just gave them a look. Don't let nobody run you from the house of God. Don't let nobody run you from the house of God. See, Jesus was teaching. Jesus was teaching in the house. Jesus, his word. One word from the Lord would change everything. So when you come to the house of God, it should be some good teaching. Yeah. Because Amen. guess what? You're teaching Jesus' word. Yeah. What Jesus said. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. But we don't want to come to his house. We want to come when we get ready. But this woman made her way with her condition. She wasn't worried about her hair wasn't done. She wasn't worried about all this stuff that we so caught up in. She came to the house of God. Came to the house of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when Jesus saw her, he called her to him. He called her. When Jesus called, hear the call. Come. Why the world is trouble? When Jesus called, come. See, we want to come when we want to come. Man or woman of God say, sister, come here. God just put something in my spirit to won't get up. No one to worry for you. Won't get up. But when you leave, that man was talking to me. That woman was talking to me. You ain't hurting a man or woman of God. You hurting yourself. Because that was a time for God to lose you. Hallelujah. That was the time right there. That was the time right there to come to him. We need to be in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. And just so happened, seven, the day of rest. The day of rest. You don't have to wait till a certain day to be healed. Stop letting people tell you it got to be this day. It got to be Sunday before you heal. Before I lay hands on you. You got to be at church before I, I lay hands on you or before I pray for you. Baby, I don't care if I'm in Walmart. I don't care if I'm in the Dollar Tree. God have released to 
us to walk in. We're not walking in that power. He said, I've given you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means harm you. You gotta know. You gotta know. Any day, I can receive my healing. I can receive my breakthrough. I can receive my deliverance. It don't matter what day it is. Y'all better stop getting stuck in what day it is. I receive what God has for me. I receive it now. I don't gotta wait till Sunday. Hey, but right now. Right now. Yeah, 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 but I don't say it. This woman, no name, no age, no race. See, we caught up in all this stuff. Didn't say nothing. Didn't say she was anointed. Didn't say none of this. But she was in the right place at the right time. It's something when you can be at the right place at the right time.
when you are loose from your infirmity. An infirmity is an element, a disease or sickness, imperfection in the body or character. Oh God, oh God. See, we walk around with these infirmities every day. Ugh. Our character so jacked up. I don't know if you're a woman of God or a woman on a corner. It got to be a difference. People have to know if you say you say and you say you serve God, shouldn't I know? If I'm a child of God, you say you my sister. I should know that you my sister. Hallelujah. 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 See, this is stuff that make us sick in church. Amen. Amen. Woo. Our character so jacked up. Amen. If I ain't got the mic, I don't want to say nothing. Amen. I don't want to raise my hand. I know you pick up, but when you can't raise your hand, when you can't open your mouth, when you can't give God no glory, when you can't give him no praise, when you are in the door, he's in the house. being bent over. Stop allowing people to bend you over. Yes. Don't let that man bend you over. Yes. Hey, y'all what I say. Hallelujah. See, you need the right man to call you. Hallelujah. You need the right man to call you. Yes. See, you started collecting collect calls from Tyrone. Yes. Huh? You need the right man to call you. Yes. You started worrying about Johnny and Steve. Yes. You need the right man What is the difference with this call? This call right here. You know how we used to be on the phone late at night. Now you tell me you love me before you hit. Now you tell me you love me. No, I love you. No, you say it first. No, you hang up first. No, you hang up first. I don't want to hang up first. It's much different than that. See, that sounds good. But when hey, when Jesus is talking to you, that goes in the area that no man can go. Let's 
Is it Steve the one drinking your baby milk? <laughs> that you put in for. Uh -huh. But what you left off is I got to get rid of what I'm in so I can receive what he want me to have. Yes. See, we, 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 we are raising up being deformed. Uh -huh. Well, we're thinking we're looking so good, but we're looking deformed. Uh -huh. Because you want God to be a genie. You want God to give it, touch it, deliver, heal. You want God to do all of that. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't giving up nothing. You want God to give it all to you, but you ain't willing to give nothing up for God. Come on now. Come on now. That's why you need You need the right hands laid on you. You need to hear the right voice speaking to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Okay. But the rulers of the synagogue answered with indignation uh -huh. because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath. And he said to the crowd, there are six days on which men ought to work. Therefore come and be healed on them and not on the Sabbath. Let me tell you something. Be cautious of religious people, yes, yes, leaders. That's it right there. Can't see can't hear, Ooh, Holy Ghost. just there. Yes, mm -hmm. Decoration. Mm -hmm. Poor pitbull, decoration. Mm -hmm. Can't see nothing. Nope. Don't even know that you need a healing in your body from cancer. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But will continue to allow you to come to the house of God. Right. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Never believe God for your healing. Mm -hmm. Never lay hands on you. Never speak to your situation. 
be cautious of people just stuck in tradition. Yes. Yes. Just stuck. Yes. These rulers coming to Jesus. Hallelujah. See, we get Jesus jacked up with man. Uh -huh. See, that's the difference where no man should heal on the Sabbath. Uh -huh. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus in the house. Yes. You got him mixed up with you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you put, people have this problem. People come into church that don't look like them. They skirt might be way shorter. They breath might be even out. But you're spiritual. If they keep seeing you dressing holy, dressing right, you don't have to condemn nobody. You don't have to look down on them. You don't have to stir your nose up at them. You don't got to do none of that. All you got to do is look right. All you got to do is dress right. That's what helped me. Because the women of God that was around me, they dressed holy. You didn't see no skin. And we need to get back to that. Because now we want to come in God's house anyway. But you can't condemn a person that's coming in off the street and say they shouldn't have rolled at the church. Baby, they came for Jesus. They didn't come for no show. Who cares if they lay in show? Who cares? As long as they get Jesus. As long as they get delivered. See, we don't got caught up in that. We run people off. Like, man, they was about to give that life to God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they look. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. My God, how did they come in God's house like that? Yes, I ought to be ashamed of this. You don't know if that's the only thing they had to put on. I try to keep clothes in my trunk. I try to keep care packs in my trunk. Because you don't know. That could be me. We ain't got caught up in ourselves. Caught up in ourselves. Where when you see somebody that's lost, they blind, they can't find their way. But guess what? You can see it. You can help them find their way. You can help them find their way. Don't wound them. Because we've been at fault. We wound people as soon as they come through the door. We run them off. That's the reason why you would see them go from church to church to church. They looking for love. They looking for love. Wow, I don't know how I got there. Hallelujah. Don't allow people, religious people, they can't see nothing. They denying the power of God. See, some people want you to stay in that situation. Come on now. So you can continue to depend on them. Hallelujah. They don't even want you to get healed. Come on. They want you to just keep coming to them. They don't even want you to deliver. They want you to keep coming to them. They don't even want you to get a breakthrough. They want you to keep coming to them. Do you think they want your finances blessed? No, they want you to keep giving it to them. Today is Sabbath. Today is your day of rest. Today is your day of breakthrough. Today is your day of healing. Whatever you need from God, you can have it. Hallelujah. But look what the Lord said. Hallelujah. Said the Lord then answered him and said, Hypocrite, does not each one of you on the Sabbath loose his ox or donkey from the stall? And lead it away to wear it. Thank you, Jesus. Now he said, You hypocrites. Mm -hmm. You sitting up here preaching one thing, uh -huh. doing something else. Mm -hmm. That's why what I preach, I live. That's right. Yes. What I preach, I live. Hallelujah. The way you see me now is the way you'll see me whenever you Amen. see me. Yeah. I don't change. Amen. Jesus. Preaching one thing. No, it shouldn't be no healing on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. No nothing going on on the Sabbath. Jesus. But Jesus said, you hypocrites. Don't you lose your ox? Don't you lose your donkey? To go get water? To go and eat? But then you tell me that this 
woman's supposed to stay bound. Ah. Been like this for 18 years. Ooh. Coming to the house of God. Something is wrong with that. Say it now. Something is wrong with that. Yes. You shouldn't stay in the same predicament. Ooh. When you first came to God, it should be a change. this woman. Jesus, Jesus. And you got some people like that. Mm -hmm. You care more for animals Jesus, Jesus. than you do your sisters, yeah. your brothers. Come on. Holy Something is wrong with that. Yes, yes. Something is wrong with that. Yes. Why in the world I can pass by my sister and see her hurt, mm -hmm. see her need something, but I'm able to give her something. I'm able to speak to her. I'm able to encourage her. But instead, I walk by. Right. Oh. Like I don't see nothing. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Like I don't see nothing. Mm -hmm. Something wrong with that, saints. And you have to stop it. Because God is not pleased. We can't be hypocrites. We can't put on no mask and come in God's house. And this me. No, that's not you. Take your mask off. Uh -huh. Take your mask. Be you. Yeah. See, it's easy being you. Because you're authentic. You don't got to be like nobody else. You ain't got to sing like nobody else. You ain't got to dress like nobody else. None of that. Be you. That allows God's power to flow. His anointing to flow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, you hypocrite. So ought not this woman, being a daughter of Abraham, who Satan has bound, Think of it. Of it for 18 years. He loose. Be loose from this bond. On the Sabbath. And when he said these things. All his adversaries were put to shame. And all the multitude rejoiced. For all glorious things. That were done by him. By Jesus. By Jesus. Being a daughter of Abraham. Whom Satan has bound. See, you can look at some people just because they come to church, but you don't realize that Satan has bound them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You don't even realize it. Thank you, Jesus. But guess who do? Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus recognized. He sees everything. It's nothing hidden from him. And when you glorify God for the glorious works, that he has done, and he's doing, and he's about to do. Your soul begins to rejoice. That's the reason why I say, woman, today, the chains are broken. You are loose. You got to believe that you are loose. You got to believe it. You got to receive it in your heart to know that Jesus has loosed me. He has set me free. And when you want to be straightened out by Jesus, say, Jesus, straighten me out. I want to be straightened out, oh God. I want you to deliver me. I want you to heal me, God. I need your deliverance, God. I don't want to do it my own way. I don't want to do it my own way, God. Jesus. Oh, yeah. 